Our story today comes from Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus was on earth, he helped many people in lots of different ways. Sometimes he was even fixing problems they had with their bodies. He did these things because he loved the people, but he also did it because it showed that he had the kind of power that only God would have. Today, we're going to hear about one of these times when Jesus healed both a man's body and his heart. One day, Jesus was visiting the city of Capernaum. People loved to hear him speak, and anyone who was sick or hurt wanted to be close to see if he might heal them. So as soon as people heard he was there, they gathered to listen. In fact, so many people gathered to hear him that no one else could fit in the house. They even crowded around the doors and windows so no one else could get through. A paralyzed man also lived in Capernaum. Being paralyzed meant that his legs and maybe other parts of his body did not work. So he couldn't walk and he might not even be able to get up off the, his bed by himself. But this man also had four good friends. They believed that Jesus could help him. So they picked up the man's mat that he laid on and they carried him to where Jesus was. But when they got to the house, there was no way they could get inside. But these friends would not give up. One of them said, let's go on the roof and make a hole to lower our friend down where Jesus can see him. So the men climbed up on the roof, carrying the, the mat with their friend. Then they dug through the roof until they had a hole big enough for the man laying on his mat. Now since the houses in Jesus' time had flat roofs made of branches packed with mud, they could do this. They aren't like our houses. When the hole in the roof was ready, the friends lowered the paralyzed man down through the hole to where Jesus could see him. The people in the crowd were probably all very surprised. But when Jesus saw the faith of the paralyzed man and his friends, he said, son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the Pharisees, those special teachers who liked to try and trick Jesus, were also at the house listening. When they heard Jesus speak to the paralyzed man, they got very angry and said quietly to one another, he is telling lies about God. No one can forgive sins except God. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked them, why do you say these things? Is it easier to say to the man, your sins are forgiven? Or you are healed, take up your bed and walk. Now you will know that I do have the authority to forgive sins. Then Jesus also turned to the paralyzed man. To him, Jesus said, get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately, the man stood up, picked up his mat and walked out where everyone could see him. All the people in the house were amazed and they praised God and cried, we have never seen anything like this. Jesus showed his power that day by healing the man's body, but he actually did two miracles. The more important miracle was that he also forgave the man's sin. And that is the miracle that Jesus is willing to do for us too, every day. If we're willing to ask him and confess our sins, he was always willing to forgive our sins. Now we're gonna practice a memory verse that comes from the story. Our memory verse is Mark 2, 12. The verse is, and immediately he arose so that all were amazed and glorified God. And I'm gonna show you some motions and we'll practice it a few times doing the motions together. So first we're gonna do and immediately, and then we'll do he arose, 
and then so that all were amazed and glorified God. So let's practice it together. Immediately he arose so that all were amazed and glorified God. Let's do it another time. And immediately he arose so that all were amazed and glorified God. Let's do it one more time. And immediately he arose so that all were amazed and glorified God. Great job.